The troops are in high spirits and battle ready to launch more offensive against the Boko Haram as President Jonathan addressed them at Mubi Barak in Adamawa State. Before now, Mubi has been under the control of Boko Haram, resulting in the displacement of members of the community. President Jonathan assured the troops to give their best as government will continue to support and assist them with all that is needed to win the war. Things have changed now. We are very happy with what we are doing. We we'll continue to encourage you. The issues burdening on your welfare, we we'll take it very seriously. In operations like this, sometimes things may be slow, for one reason or the other, may not be deliberate. But be rest assured that anything that is due you, you will surely get it. And all of you who have shown gallantry will be rewarded according to the traditions of the armed forces and according to the rules and regulations governing the operations and of course the goodwill of Nigerians and their country. Normal lives have returned to Mubi town with commercial activities picking up gradually as the president took a tour of the areas devastated by Boko Haram, especially banks and worship centers. President Jonathan during a courtesy call on the Emir of Mubi assured the Emir that with the renewed aggression the war against Boko Haram will be won and Mubi we come back to life. But the main thing, the key thing, is to make sure that we flush the Boko Haram out of Nigeria and we will not allow them to go into any other country. Collectively, Nigeria, Chad, Niger, Cameroon, and Benin will make sure that the story of Boko Haram will come to an end and very soon. The Emir of Mubi expressed appreciation to the President and the armed forces for restoring normalcy to Mubi town and called on his people to return to their homes. Since normalcy has been returned, let everybody come back, continue with all what he has been doing more than before. Your Excellency, I want to assure you, the people of Mubi Chiefdom are people of peace. Me as I am a movie, I have now come back. I will not go anywhere. So what we still need of you, sir, is uh, some kind of support from the federal government so that those who are in the IDP camp have nothing doing, who fear that if they come back they will have no business to do, their homes are devastated. If we can touch their lives in some small way so that they can start off I believe they will come back, sir. Meanwhile, a one-week military operation through the Multinational Joint Tax Force has led to the recapture of Baga in Bruno State. The visit of President Jonathan to the troops at the headquarters of the Multinational Joint Tax Force gave the gallant soldiers added impetus to move on with the battle. And I um, promise you that we'll do our best because we want this war with Boko Haram to end as early as possible. We want Nigerians to go back to their homes so that uh, the government can resettle the put back to their homes and you will also return to your barracks. It's almost one week since the fall of Baga and he has taken it upon himself to come and see the victorious troops, the gallant troops, Amen. the winning troops, Amen. the never again troops. Amen. President Jonathan also inspected the arms and ammunition recovered from Boko Haram by the Nigerian army, including the flags, during the one-week operation. Hip, hip, hip. And while in Borono State, President Jonathan had a brief chat with the governor of Borono State before leaving for Abuja. In the State House, Shegun Lawale, NT News.